You've tested your solution and it works perfectly. Now you want to make a leap. But before you make a leap, do this first. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to be test plating a leaf. Why? Leaves are large and they are very difficult to measure accurately when you first start electroforming. Plus, if you've never used conductive paint before, that is also a new skill to learn. Having to learn so many new things at once, it may be difficult to pinpoint where you went wrong if a problem arises. Important. Only test one piece in the tank at a time. Multiple pieces will make the test unreliable. I am doing multiple pieces today but each piece is in its own tank. By following the step-by-step -step guide, it will bring you through each process individually and help you identify any problems along the way. Let's start. Measure and cut a one inch square from a dried leaf so that each piece will have two square inches of surface area. Cover the entire leaf square with conductive paint. Shake paint often. Make sure to get the edges. If using water-based conductive paint, seal the leaf first. Let it dry thoroughly. Straighten the length of thin wire. Cut end to a sharp point. Add glue and insert into the leaf center vein. After glue cures, add conductive paint around the joint. Let dry. Watch. Best wire straightening hack. Get the kink out. Let's put the leaf in. Amp set to 0 0.4 now. And as it starts to plate, I'll slowly raise the amperage. Plating should start almost immediately. Let's check on it. It's been about 3 minutes. We have plating on both sides, and that's a good sign. So I'm going to put it back in the bath, and then check it again in about 20 minutes. We're at the 20 minute mark, and we're getting good coverage. So let's raise the amperage to 0.5 amps, and then check it again in about 20 to 25 minutes. We're at the 45 minute mark, and we have really good coverage so far. So I'm going to raise the amperage to uh, 0.1 amps total and then check it again in about 20 to 25 minutes. We're at the one hour mark and the piece is completely covered in copper. So we're gonna go ahead and raise the amps to 0.2 amps and then check again in about an hour. We're at the two hour mark and it's been going at full current for about an hour now. All right, everything looks really good. It's uh, bright and shiny, we have really good detail. It's at this point where you can decide to stop the test because you've shown that you can successfully electroplate a leaf. I'm gonna continue this test. I'm gonna bring the amps up to 0.22 amps and then leave it overnight. And that way we'll see what the finished product looks like. A fully electroformed leaf. The total plate time has been about 15 hours, and wow, they look really good, right? Let's take them over to the workbench for a closer inspection. All right, these are right out of the bath. I didn't do anything to them except for rinse them off. Nice and smooth, really good texture, uh, great detail right out of the bath. That's just Lustro Electro and Lustro Smoodo doing their thing. Now that you've done this test, and if you have good results, you know that your solution is good and your conductive paint is good. So when you do a full leaf next, if anything goes wrong, you'll know that it's something that went wrong in the process. Maybe you mismeasured it, setting the wrong amperage, maybe something got disconnected during the process. But at least you know that your solution is working well and that your conductive paint is working well. Now let's do a leaf. See you in the next video.